This is the Kingston XS1000R, two terabyte external SSD. This product was sent for a review, but the opinions are my own. This is a red dot winner 2024, and this is a red SSD. We will take a look at what comes in the box. So you get a USB-C cable to a USB-A, and it also includes a USB-C adapter. This is what it looks like with the adapter on. I preferably would have rather had just a USB-C to USB-C cable, but this will work nonetheless. This is the drive itself. This is great for videographers, photographers, those who wanna just store information and be able to transfer it quickly. It has the USB-C input on this side and a little light indicator here. Overall, it's pretty light. You could also potentially use this with like a PS5 or an Xbox for external storage, but some systems you may have to actually have the games on the console itself. Depending on what kind of computer you use, you wanna format the drive. So once you connect the drive, you'll see this little blue light here. It will show up as Kingston here. You want to search for disk utility. Once in disk utility, you'll see Kingston. You wanna hit erase. If I select erase, you could see that it gives you these options here, Mac OS, MS-DOS, XFAT. XFAT would be like if you wanna use Mac and Windows. For this, I'm just gonna use the APFS. So you wanna select the actual drive, go to erase at the top. You wanna change this middle part, but we first wanna change it to the GUID, G-U-I-D partition. And then you wanna select APFS. Encrypted would be like password. And then you have case sensitive. I'm just gonna use this top one. And I'm gonna call it Red Kingston. Now beware if you have anything on this drive, it's gonna erase it. So make sure that you don't have anything important there. So hit erase. This will blink for a second. So now we'll have Red Kingston. You just press that and your folder's empty. You can move your files, etc. I'll just give you an example how it works. So I'll just copy a few video files and paste it so you can see how fast it is. So that's pretty quick. So I'll do a quick test. I'll select the drive and we'll see how quickly this works. So I'm gonna select that drive, hit open, and then we'll start. So as you can see, it shows 866.8 .8 for write and 949.8 for read. Overall, I think this would be good for videographers, photographers, and creatives that need extra storage and want to work off of a drive or either transfer files quickly.